How did Edward Jones become one of the biggest financial services companies hey. in the country? Yours? Not anymore. Come on By in. meeting you more than halfway. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. It's time for the Edward Jones Tiger Cage. This week in the Edward Jones Tiger Cage, we're pleased to be joined by none other than the Chancellor of the University of Missouri, Dr. R. Bowen Lofton. Dr. Lofton, uh, we appreciate you carving out a few minutes here on uh, This Week in Mizzou Football. Not quite done with your first year, still in the, in the midst of your, your first year as the Chancellor here, but uh, how has it gone and uh, what stood out to you your, your first year in Columbia? Yeah, it's a good place to be. Um, Karen and I have really enjoyed being here. Uh, when I arrived on January 24th of this year, it was five degrees at noon. <laughs> uh, I almost turned around and left, <laughs> but uh, we found a warm welcome here at Mizzou. Uh, the people, not only the university, but also Columbia have been really good to us. Made us feel very much at home here, so we're happy right now here. My wife's horse is happy, so if horse is happy, she's happy, and I'm happy. That's a good way to go. Uh, as you have, have uh, you know, spent more and more time on campus and uh, gotten to know the university over the course of the last 10 months plus, you know, has anything surprised you, or, or what, do, what have you learned about Mizzou? A lot of things, quite frankly. Uh, first of all, an extraordinary history, rich traditions. Uh, a lot of things here are very good. Uh, I think that uh, my comfort level is very high, primarily because the students here are very much like when I left Texas A&M. Uh, our students here have very, very strong values. They're very service-focused. Uh, so many of the organizations on campus are all about serving others, and I find it to be incredibly like Texas A&M and also incredibly important. Uh, these young people are a great future for us looking forward, no question about it. I see a question you probably get a lot. Uh, you've been very recognizable on campus, very active with the students, active on social media. The bow tie. What's the story behind the bow tie? And, and, uh, it's an old story. <laughs> let's hear it. Uh, Forty years ago, almost. Uh, well, I was a very junior faculty member at a different university uh, many, many years ago. And I tended to dress kind of like you. Okay. I may have had a full button shirt on rather than a golf shirt on and taught my classes, did my research and everything. And one day I came to my mailbox and I found a letter there from the president of the university saying, henceforth, all male faculty must wear a tie when they're in class. I said, I'm going to show him. I'm going to wear a bow tie. <laughs> Didn't even own one. I happen to have a good, good friend of the department, though, whose husband wore bow ties. I knew that. I'd met him a couple of times. I said, Gene, could I possibly borrow a bow tie from Carl? I want to show the president tomorrow that I'm not going to just tow in, you know, uh, you know, just tow in his line here about wearing a tie to class every day. Of course, a long tie is what he meant. So uh, she brought me this tie, ugliest tie I ever saw in my life, as a matter of fact. I still got it today. And I spent two hours learning to tie it or to class the next day. <laughs> And I've worn a bow tie ever since. So it's one of those things that's uh, become my trademark and a lot of my personal brand, if you will. You know, you're uh, one of the members of the, the search committee for uh, the new SEC commissioner. Mike Slive will be stepping down here uh, uh, not, not too long from now. I know you're very early in the process, but what can you share with us about how that's going, maybe what you're, you're looking for in the next SEC commissioner? Well, big shoes to fill. Commissioner Slive is a great personal friend of mine. Uh, he and I worked together so closely over the years that Anna was moving towards the SEC. In fact, for a long time, we talked every morning at 7.15 a.m., <laughs> every morning. Uh, it was quite a time for us. Uh, he has navigated the SEC through so much. The reputational issues of the SEC historically have been just totally upside down, uh, made upside down by his, his efforts here. Academically, in terms of integrity, the SEC is a very different place perceptually than it was a long time ago. Uh, the money's good too, very good. <laughs> uh, the SEC Network, think about it, 100 million subscribers right now since August 14th. <laughs> yeah. Just a few months into it, we're already eclipsed the Big Ten Network after almost four years. Uh, that's incredible. And we owe it all to Mike Slive and his team uh, for taking this to this level. Uh, having said that, uh, many things loom ahead of us. Uh, litigation's kind of the name of the game right now, isn't it? Uh, from concussions, uh, to the integrity of, of the teams, uh, to the whole issue of image and use of image and paying players. All these things are looming out there, and there are numerous court cases already in play across the entire country. Uh, that's not been the case for a long time, maybe ever this way. And so we're looking at different kinds of waters to navigate now. Uh, we need a leader who can actually sustain the greatness we've, we, we have enjoyed right now in the SEC. Uh, but also take us forward through these very difficult times in the next decade or so. Uh, be a very, very important job, probably as, as 
many people say the most important job in college sports today. Well, Chancellor Lofton, I know that uh, you'll work hard with your fellow committee members to find the best person for that job. And uh, we appreciate everything you've done for Mizzou. And we appreciate you stopping by the show. Good to be here, sir. Thank you. That's Chancellor R. Bowen Lofton, Dr. R. Bowen Lofton, joining us on this week of Mizzou football inside the Edward Jones Tiger Cave. And of course, a big thanks to Edward Jones, a proud sponsor of Mizzou Athletics. Visit edwardjones.com for more on investing. Nearly 7 million clients. How did Edward Jones get so big? Let me just put this away. Could you teach our kids that trick? By not acting that way. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing.